Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you like your yoga hut, your coffee artisanal, your neighborhood cool, and your gardens Instagrammable, you're going to enjoy our recent terrace installation. Of course, we're in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, where even pigeons have a vinyl record collection. This project began as a truly blank slate. During the initial meeting with the client, I offered them several possible layouts for this unique penthouse terrace. After we narrowed down the general design direction, we considered a possibility of having a hot tub or a small pool. But after exploring the logistics, we decided that it really wasn't worth the trouble. In the final design, angled planters were installed, delineating the long terrace and introducing rooms for lounging and dining areas. The result is an uncluttered space with clean lines that reflect both the contemporary facade of the building and the interior design. The terrace enjoys expensive views of the city, but the first thing we had to do was install a fence to offer some privacy. The views across the project were looking at the mechanicals of the adjacent roofs, so blocking that view was a priority. The client requested a natural wood fence. Clear cedar was selected for its beautiful light appearance and pronounced wood grain. The planters have a modern clean feel, but deep enough to accommodate perennial plantings. Here again, cedar striping was used, this time horizontally and stained with solid color. The central design feature of this rooftop terrace is a built-in kitchen. Caesar stone counter and Ipe wood skirt are in keeping with the overall contemporary vibe of the terrace. As the clients like to entertain, this area will be used a lot in years to come. An ample space was given to accommodate a table and chairs for the large groups of people, while being close to the kitchen and prep and serving station. The client also selected this lovely handmade and painted tile that we used as a backsplash and a small textural art piece that leads the eye to the back wall, but interrupts the large expanse of the white brick. But of course it wouldn't be a garden without the lush plantings. These images are taken only a month or two after the installation completion, and it's already quite full. As this is this garden's first season, I added a few annuals in the gaps in between the perennials for a splash of color. The overall design goal of the garden is to be very textural, paying special attention to the winter interest using clusters of boxwood spheres, movement using ornamental grasses, and low ground covers facing the interior of the condo so the client is not looking at the back of the planters. As a matter of fact, the planters are two-tiered, with the lower tier facing the interior, so no matter where you are, inside or outside, there are no negative views. In the areas where the planters are simply too narrow for the plants to expand and grow happily, horsetails seem like the best option. Narrow and tall, without any leaves or branches, they fit the bill perfectly. To take advantage of all the vertical spaces available, I ran a modern cable system in several locations. In the perennial section of the garden, a climbing rose underplanted with two varieties of clematis, one early and one late season, to give several pops of color throughout the season, was installed. Near the kitchen, a small herb garden was installed with Mediterranean standbys. On the cable, I grew two varieties of cherry tomatoes. I'm sure that the client will experiment with other edibles in this area in years to come.
Although we decided not to install the water feature, the client opted for a shower to be added instead. It really comes in handy on a hot and humid summer days. As the fun only begins when the sun is setting, a lighting system was necessary to illuminate the space and also to give it a bit of oomph at night when looking at the terrace from the inside. The furniture for this project was selected in the early stages of the design and installation. The planters were custom built for the sofa and the dining table to fit just right into the garden space. The client's small personal design touches truly made the garden their own. Their personalities clearly come through in this great family space. This was a very much a collaborative design. With client's input, a user-friendly space was created. I look forward to visiting the garden in years to come and watch it grow and mature. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us a call when you're ready to plan your future garden. Thank you for watching and happy gardening!